tourist dream in an island haven for locals. But for up and coming UFC fighter Yancy Medeiros, this is where he starts his training for all of his fights. After getting his working on the main island of Oahu, the Hawaiian native makes his way to a drastically different place, Stockton, California. Welcome to Stockton, y'all. Stockton, California, listed on Forbes as the eighth most dangerous city in America. But this is the place where UFC superstars Nick and Nate Diaz call home. Staying with Nate at his crib is like, he's like my second home. It's like my Cali fam, you know? Like I come up here, I feel like I'm just coming to another home. While in Northern California, Yancy Medeiros makes his home at fellow lightweight and friend Nate Diaz's home, where his weight cut to 155 is just a normal routine as fight day gets closer. Oh, I'll show you my dinner. Fruits tonight. <laughs> I sauteed some, I sauteed some vegetables up, but. You know, I'm still hungry, so I'm still nitpicking. And that's how the magic happens? Pretty much. Well, this is just the first meal. And I've got a bunch of other meals I like to eat throughout the day. Usually consists of veggies, though. Getting ready for a session with boxing trainer Richard Perez and Mantica becomes a little bit easier with music playing and some playful dancing in the car. When you drive in and you see someone sees you dancing in the car and you're embarrassed, you just gotta keep me just a bit. <laughs> you got caught already, man. You know it's too late. Just keep dancing. Don't let them screw up your vibe. <laughs> Richard Perez, head boxing trainer to Nick and Ideas, and now Yancy Medeiros puts all his time and efforts into his pupil, correcting technique and offering encouragement along the way. There you go! He watches everything, corrects everything, my footwork, my hand positioning. Most coaches just look at the punches. Hey, you're moving that over. You're not moving this one. You mean they don't ever look at the, the footwork or anything? Rich is always correcting me, making me pick up all my bad habits. Hands up. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, happy to, happy to be chilling with my boys, training, doing what I love. Martial arts is a passion for me. So, you know, I'm always, like I said, I always take that, I always try and look at the positive things in life and try and keep it that way. After the 90 minute session with Perez, time to cut some more weight by heading to the local gym for time in the sauna and steam room. So, what are you here for? Involved. Twelve, twelve minutes. This one, so it's a bit better. So I can just do maybe six more minutes in the in the steam room, and uh, another six here, maybe another fifteen in the jacuzzi. What are you thinking right now? What are you thinking about? Get a director Richard. No boxing right now. You know, getting things on point. Imagine what I'm gonna hit or what I think I'm at. Fucking pounds away, man. I say 15, and the last week that I add that pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's finish up session at Richard. I'm boxing at Richard and get the sauna up a little bit. I'm gonna go to Rayleigh's real quick, get some veggies so I can cook something to eat before tonight. Chow down. It's off to the grocery store where Medeiros picks up his dinner, organic fruits, vegetables, and drink to replenish his body. Honestly, I'd still be probably fighting at 205, man, you know, 185. It's because of Nick and Nate, them, their work ethics, their, their eating habits, their nutrition, you know, it all played a factor for me. He progresses all the time. He, he's hard to, like, if somebody shows him a move or something, that's his new thing, and he's on it all the time. He's got. He's got good, good jiu-jitsu, good wrestling. He's a good training partner. I used him for a couple fights. 
we all fight. We don't compete. Every guy that steps in that cage knows UFC don't pay me to hold people down. They want to see fights. They want to see knockouts. They want to see finishes. So do my fans and supporters, you know, especially in Hawaii. We all got heart. Yes, he's an entertaining fighter. He's he's tough. He's, he's gonna be he's gonna be a mess for anybody to fight. Joe Ellenberger, you know, he's 14 and one. He ain't he 14 and one for no reason. I, uh, you know, Ellenberger's, you know, he comes from that their family's tough guys and stuff. But I think that it's got uh, probably probably fight at night type of fight, you know. Every fight, no matter what, no matter what fight it is, it's important to me, and I I feel that each fight I have is more and more important for for me and what I have to do to get to the top and support my family. Routine is normal. The activities become monotonous. But beyond the lights and glory of the screaming fans, interviews, and octagon fame is the simplicity of the hard work, perseverance, trials and tribulations of a fighter, battling injuries, soreness, bumps, bruises, and the day in and day out work that must be put in before going in against an opponent that is standing across, wanting to take all the work put in and make it for naught. The fight life isn't the limelight, it's the 24 hours a day that is put in, fine tuning one's body and skills to prepare for battle. It's just the life of a fighter.